what? It just said, are you sure you want to use your mic? Yeah. Yeah, I would like to use my expensive microphone. Thank you. Uh, no, it was like 80 bucks. It wasn't that expensive. Anyways, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, I haven't uploaded a video in in a very, very, very long time. I am a Buccaneers fan now. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just a Brady fan. I fucking hate the Buccaneers. No, actually, I do like the Buccaneers. They're doing actually really good. Three and one. Come on. A lot has changed. Uh, two months has gone by. Um, TikTok is doing great. I have a podcast now with my friend Dom that's doing really good. We're on Spotify Green Room, which is really fun. Go live every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. David, my roommate, bought me a PlayStation 5. Oh, he bought me a PS5. I've been doing. I've been to be honest. To be honest, I've been playing that for most nights. Instead of like sitting down and working for a couple hours, I'll sit down and play that. Not a couple hours, like five or six, <laughs> and I'll start at like nine. So I'll finish the end. I'll finish the night off by like two or three. Yeah, so surprising. Didn't I don't know. Oh well, he got a new job and he's in Dubai. David, my roommate, is in Dubai now. So I'm assuming that he probably was like, oh, my life's going pretty good. I'm gonna get Josh a PlayStation Five because I feel bad for him. Today, uh, I think I'm just for these videos. I'm just kind of be going to talk about like a popular topic that's going on right now or anything that I find interesting, anything that I find cringy or boring or blah blah blah. And so uh, today we're going to be talking about Squid Game. Squid Game, I should say. That's literally, it's the biggest show on Netflix right now. Probably going to be Netflix's biggest and number one most watched show ever. It's, uh, it's a Korean show. It's it's it, me and Preston watched it. We've been watching it nonstop for the past week. It is by far, definitely, definitely one of my favorite shows I've ever watched. By far in the top five best shows I've ever seen, which is, which is, I've seen a shit ton of TV. I've seen a shit ton of Netflix shows, Hulu, Amazon, HBO, like even just on networks, like, you know, C like CSI, or I don't know what the fuck this is called. NCIS, like those types, Law and Order, like those shows, like any, out of any other shows, top five easily. This show is, it's violent. <laughs> it's violent. I can't understand it because I don't speak Korean. Um, the storyline is ridiculously good. The writing, the acting, everything is so, 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 so well done with the show. I don't want to, I don't want to, I, to be honest, I don't even have my phone on me. So I'm not going to say, I'll just put up pictures if I'm talking about a character. Just with the whole plot line of like, like the entire show is so like, it's so crazy. Like it's ridiculous. Like it's, it's, it's basically like, basically like Saw, and like Hunger Games, like mix, like mixed, like to combined. And to be honest, I agree. I kind of agree. It's, it's literally like, I think it's like 250 people get put into like this starts off with, you know, like a guy. You know, he kind of feels bad for himself. He's poor. He doesn't have a lot of money. He's a gambler. He's an addict, which isn't good. Like, not a drug addict or alcoholic, but, like, an addict of gambling. He has his daughter, you know, to take care of, you know, but, like, the wife, you know, or his ex-wife, I should say, the mom of the daughter, you know, doesn't fucking want him, you know, to be around because he's a bum. You know, he's a, he's a you know, he's a homeless guy. He doesn't, you know, take care of himself. Or he's not homeless. He lives with his mom, who is dying, which is really sad. Guy just cannot get his life together. And all of a sudden, one of these days, he's at the train station, and this guy was like, do you want to, do you want to play a game? Do you want, like, or do you, do you need money? Yeah. I need money, yeah. Like, and the guy was like, "Do you want to play a game with me? I'll give you like a hundred thousand won, which I I don't know how much it is, but, but I'll give you a hundred thousand, like something, for it, which is it, I don't think it's a lot. I think it's like a thousand bucks. So I say I'll give you a thousand dollars for every time you win at this game. And I don't know what the game is called, but it's like you where you throw like an like an origami looking thing at the ground and you try to pop up the other origami looking thing. They play this game. He loses, he loses, he loses. Instead of like him losing money, like the guy just slaps him in the face. So it's like kind of, it's kind of like, oh, that's sad. You know, it's really sad. And then finally he wins. He's like, oh, he won. Finally. Gives him, you know, a thousand dollars or whatever. I don't know what it is in Korean. But, and he's like, hey, do you want to win more money? Here, here's a, here's my card. Call this number and then join the game. You're going to win a lot of money. And then the guy's like, all right, okay. And so he, the guy calls it, gets instructions on the phone he was like all right my name is you know so and so my birthday is this goes to the location that the lady tells him over the phone and then they literally they literally kidnap him like oh well, actually technically not well i mean technically yes he gets into this van uh, on his own free will by the way it's, it's an important part of the story i don't want i'm not gonna spoil the whole thing i'm just gonna you know tell you guys my experience with watching it but he gets into the spam and he's talking about it he's talking about it and everybody's knocked out in the van by the way everybody's like knocked out yeah is everybody like sleepy and then gas comes in and then knocks him so out. that's what i mean by like the kidnapping part but i mean Technically, he did get into the van and like, you know, oh, and he actually, he signed papers with the guy that he was playing the game against. So, you know, he kind of technically like signed something that he didn't, he didn't obviously read it because it was 20 fucking pages. And so I'm assuming somewhere in there, it was like, we can do whatever we want with you, which is kind of fucked up. But anyways, uh, so he's in this car, he goes, he wakes up, he's in like a jumpsuit, uh, not like an orange jumpsuit, but like a track suit kind of thing, like green jackets. It has a number on it. His number is 456. It's the main character. I'm just going to kind of sum it up right now. Uh, they just play, you know, they call them the games and the first game is red light, green light. This is probably where everyone was like, what the fuck's going to happen? And then that fucking, that first shot is just like all of like these 
uh, sh- hundreds and hundreds of players. All right, I guess we're gonna play red light, green light, and they run, and then the the fucking creepy ass doll looking thing turns around and goes stop, and then it like scans, it like the fucking eyes scan everybody, and if it sees movement, it goes all right, that guy moved, and then it somebody gets shot. With that, by a sniper. It's freaking crazy. I remember, like, we and Press were watching it for the first time. It's literally, like, you, there's nobody up there, like, with a sniper. It's literally just a barrel pointing out of a hole in the wall. Like, they're in, like, a big dome. And it's a fucking, like, ten guns, ten guns, ten guns, like that. So there's 30 rifles just aiming at these fucking people. And... It's literally like, all right, red light, green light, green light, and then everybody's like running, and then if you if you fucking if you move while it's saying red light, you just get shot and you die. Like it's it's fucking insane, and it's like it's kind of realistic, so it's pretty gruesome. But like that definitely caught my attention because I I like uh, I love storytelling, I love filmmaking. When I saw that, I was like, oh, this is really good because like somebody's done stuff like that before, but not that good. Um, and I just I thought it was like really really fascinating how like you know they kind of went gruesome with it. You know they they, they made the violent they made it very violent. Uh, and I and then after that the story like really like ramps up, ramps up, ramps up, and you know people start forming groups inside, and people start forming relationships. And husband and wives are like you know dying in the games and like you know the fucking that husband you know has cast to kill his wife it, it's freaking it's really really crazy very very good story i like it a lot i think it's probably definitely top five tv shows for me all time i think it's definitely gonna be the number one best television show or, or netflix show ever i'm pretty sure netflix just said that a couple like a week ago so i recommend anybody to watch it that's just like a little recap of like like the beginning so i think that's gonna be it i think that's gonna be the video i don't really know what else to kind of do i'll have like my friends you know give me like input and shit like that and like what I should maybe do but I, I kind of just want to make it just like I'll talk for a little bit about like a certain topic that I like talking about or I'll talk about a popular topic that everybody is talking about and maybe I'll do like a little bit of research find out about it maybe I'll start reacting to some cringy videos no idea but uh but yeah that's basically it that's gonna be the video just a little recap of what I thought about Squid Game uh just a little summary of like that's the beginning of it freaking crazy ass TV show there's no spoilers in that by the way uh that's literally just the first episode so just go watch it thank you guys for watching make sure you guys go check the link in my description uh for all my social media and I will see you guys later. Peace.